Hi there guys, welcome back to Anything Blows. My name is Andrew Dika and on today's video, I've got a reaction video for you guys. More specifically, last Friday's boxing, Friday, May 12th, 2023, in York Hall, Bethnal Green, London, England, United Kingdom, in a cruiserweight main event, in a cruiserweight bout, Ellis Zorro versus Hosea Burton for the WBO European Cruiserweight Championship. Um, Ellis Zorro won this fight via a seventh round KO, a brutal, a vicious, uh, a devastating and a spectacular KO. If you look on the pictures online, it looks like something out of a movie. Um, congratulations to Ellis on winning his first professional um, belt and first professional title in boxing. Jose is a former champion in the light heavyweight division. It just wasn't to be his night and Ellis just looked unreal. So, more about the main event. From the get-go, from the first round up until the knockout, Ellis controlled the fight, controlled the pace of the fight, and he he, he proved us all right in saying that um, Jose, this was Jose's first um, fight with a proper cruiserweight of his size. He's been in sparring, but he hasn't been in the ring with a cruiserweight as big as Ellis. And Ellis remains um, undefeated, 16 wins and 7 wins coming by way of knockout now. Um, Commence to Jose, obviously, as previously mentioned, a former champion. He, he did look good. He had his moments in a fight, but he, 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 although he's six foot four and Ellis is six foot one, it just looked like two different weight categories. Ellis just looked unreal. Controlled the fight, controlled the pace, landed his jab well, landed his power shots well, and just was on another level to Jose on the night. Although Jose had his moments and had his chances in a fight, it was it was just one away from round one until the fight ended. And just speaking about that knockout in the seventh round, the 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 technical boxing from Ellis and the way he he leaded up and he built that knockout. Um, yeah, he he kind of um, chucked um, Jose onto the ground. Many people will say, but I think it was just in the, in a the moment. Uh, you could arguably call it a slip, but with all the muscle Ellis has and what he was pushing onto Jose, um, it, it looked like Jose was out of it and although he got up and it wasn't ruled a knockdown, I feel that um, it was just moments until um, um, Jose was going to be out of the night. Um, and Ellis, is, um, he, he landed a beautiful jab, another power hand and that right hook, that, that beautiful, beautiful right hook just ended the night. And it was something out of a movie. You, could, you couldn't have scripted it. You couldn't have written it better. Because to win your first professional belt, not only in York Hall, but to win it via knockout like that, I, I truly believe Ellis Zorro is now the real deal. Um, in terms of Hosea Burton, I did hear on an interview, he said before the fight, if he lost to Ellis Zorro, he'd retire. So he's Tyson Fury's cousin. He's a good name in, in British boxing. Let's hope he continues to fight and convince him um, it's hard to come back from a knockout like that. But if he does continue to fight, I'd love to see him fight someone else. And probably, I don't know if Cruiserweight's the right division for him or just take, uh, not necessarily say easy opponent, but um, rebuild himself and get a few wins in the column. Um, more on Ellis. Um, Ellis is now the new WBO European Cruiserweight Champion, congratulations to him, what a fight it was and what a way to win your first title in boxing as previously mentioned. What I'd love to see from Ellis now is move on to a bigger fight, it's not to say Jose I wasn't a big fight, this is the first big fight of many. However, in a few weeks time down in Bournemouth we have Michael Lowell versus Isaac Chamberlain for the British Cruiserweight title. I'd love to see Ellis fight one of those two or the winner of those two, whoever has a belt at the end of that night. Um, go on to fight for the British Cruiserweight title and join his stable mate in Denzel Bentley and having two men from the Peacock Gym and two um, teammates to have a British um, title. Um, commence to Hosea once again, but congratulations to Ellis. It was an amazing performance, one to remember for the ages and what a way to not only establish his name, he, he has a great name in British boxing, but to put your, your name on the map, um, on the world level, and get another highlight, real KO, and let, let the fans online and on social media see that KO that people are going to remember forever. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to the video today. It would be very appreciated and much appreciated if you could subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what your guys' reaction was to this fight. Let me know where you'd like to see both guys go from here and who you'd like to see Hosea fight next and who you'd like to see Elizoro fight next. Until next time, guys. Thank you and peace out.